Hey guys, today I just wanted to go over how you can quickly and easily fix a cassette tape that you may have deemed broken. Um, the adhesive on older cassettes such as this Jadakiss tape from 2001 has probably just lost its stick. Fortunately it's an easy fix. So we just opened up the shell. Uh, be careful not to crack as it's fairly fragile. As is a fairly tedious process, just take your time and don't get flustered. All we're doing here is reconnecting the tape from the supply reel to the take-up reel, allowing you to hear the music again. Over time, the adhesive loses its grip and comes apart, but you can't really tell and would never know just looking at the tape itself. Um, so just get a flush attachment by simply taping the two pieces directly on top of each other and using an X-Acto knife to get rid of the excess, as you can see here. Um, after that, all you would do is just turn it over and repeat it for an extra layer of protection. As you can see there, I turned it over. Um, this just makes sure that, you know, uh, it spools correctly. So, uh, I, here I just used a scissor to really clean it up so it will spool properly. Um, it wasn't the best, <laughs> but it still works, so. Uh, now comes the tricky part. You're going to want to make sure that the piece of tape runs over top of both tape guides and the pressure pad. The pressure pad is attached to the magnetic shield. So just make sure it's facing the right direction. And you'll see here in a second what I mean. <clears throat> see there the pressure pad and the um, magnetic shield. Make sure that the pressure pad is facing, um, I guess that would be down. Now just simply put the tape back together. In my case, I had to use scotch tape because whatever piece used to snap the two shells in place broke at some point. So it's a fairly easy process, but kind of tedious. Um, just take your time.